what up world just another sad day black people get keep getting killed by police stupid narratives I always come back not be true no. People think that black people just complaining about police brutality when the, the sick. Even if you are pro calling the police when stuff goes bad, you know, when things are out of control. And you may need help to settle things down. Like, right now, police shouldn't be the answer. Sorry, like, you no, know, it's it's time to really look hard at the take serious the the fund the police move movement. So, cause. We out here dying. Like chokers to death, they shoot us to death. Eat. Like the the original narrative was Rashad Brooks didn't comply with the uh, with the police, and if you see uh, like a twenty five, I ain't. I ain't really want to watch it because I couldn't stomach it, but I did see pieces of, of him complying with the police and talking to them right before everything got escalated, so... And, uh, Um, um, I like how the Democrats are, they, they released a, a proposal last week, but I think they get in, like, last Monday, this past Monday, and I think, um, they, they doing something about it, they, they going for a vote in the House this week. And they say that the Senate may do something about it. I mean, they may try to pass it, but we'll see. You know, Joe Scarborough, who's a, a lifelong Republican, now independent, he said that, um, uh, <laughs> he said if Mitch McConnell doesn't do anything about this, his name will go from Moscow Mitch. To Toko Mitch. Like those, those are strong words. Yeah. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's not. I'm watching M- NBC, um, MSNBC, um, Alicia, Alicia um, Mendez. She's very talented. I remember her um, coming on there from time to time from uh, Bustle, yeah. B-U-S, L-E, or B-U-S-T-L-E, yeah, Bustle. I remember her being over there before, um, wow. But anyway, yeah, like, We need to do something. Like, and this is world. This Black Lives Matter movement is worldwide. Yeah, there ain't none in it. And it ain't like black people are all alone. We actually got some real white allies who fight for us. And we ain't fighting alone like we did in the sisters. But that's what they don't want. They don't want black people coming together. They don't want 
other races coming together. You know, we got this president whose birthday is today. It's 45's birthday. And who cares? But, you know, he, he and his administration are so unaware of stuff. They're so unaware. Like, June 19th, you, you had no idea that Tulsa, Oklahoma, like, Oklahoma's not a, a swing state. It's, it's, it's not, it's, oh my God, it, it's not no coincidence that he did that at first, and they moved, moved it back a day, June 20th, like, like you had no idea that that was the, that was the, it's going to be the 99th anniversary uh the massacre and the shooting and stuff to um, black wall street getting like we had, we had no idea what that they represented in uh, Tulsa Oklahoma like come on man and then they um got this convention on the same day, convention, uh, convention, uh, convention, there we go, in um, Jacksonville, Florida, on the day that another racist, some other racist stuff happened, like, the anniversary of uh, some other racist stuff happened, like, come on, man, what are you doing? But, my mama always get mad at me for being surprised by Trump, and it's it's not it's not that I I, I be surprised. At it. It's just that the fact that I be outraged by by stuff. I shouldn't be outraged anymore because I know who this guy is. Like he knew what he was doing. You know, he was talking about. Keeping up the statues of these brutal people uh, like Robert E. Lee and all the other. Like, these people are crazy. Like, they don't understand the moment. Or they really is. They, are, they really are racist to the point where they don't give a damn about what's going on in the country. So, it's crazy. Anyways. Uh, uh, update on the the Biden um, VP pick. I think it's gonna be Kamala Harris. Seeing seeing all the stuff that been going on, he uh, reportedly they have updated the list. You know, Amy Klobuchar. Thank God, it's off of it. I I like Elizabeth Warren, but for this moment, it it can't be Elizabeth Warren, especially after you know with Trump and the Pocahontas thing and her getting caught pretending to be a, a Native African. A Native American, all because, well, she, she, in her defense, she had her parents say that she was Native American. And, you know, we all be taught that parents never lie to us. Our parents. Our parents never lie to us. You know. But, anyway, like, Keep up the pressure. Black Lives Matter and all that. Keep keep up the pressure. And don't give up. Protest for as long as you can. The, the boy 
cops stuff and from the roads apart that those protests lasted for like a hundred, two hundred, for over a year. For over 400 days, 200 days, or 400 days. Uh, I lost count on maybe under or over a year. That, that's how long that, that protest keep. It's, it's a shame that we gotta keep protesting in order for us to get heard, but this ain't even about just police. This is about lack of justice in every bank in, in the system. Uh, this ain't built for black and brown people. The system. That's why we go to print. That's why we go to jail. Thank God, I never been in jail. That's why our education is like this is all about black and brown people for me. That, that that's my agenda. I may register, be registered as a Democrat, but I care about my people. So, put my people first. I'm definitely voting too, so. Uh, all right. Uh, I got... Un, uh, underscore Mr. Parts on Twitter. That's my name. And underscore Mr. Parts on Instagram. Uh, my podcast, Killing It with Kendall Parts. Make sure you subscribe to me on here on YouTube. If you uh, subscribe and rate my podcast on Apple. Talk to you guys soon, maybe tomorrow, maybe uh, even sometime later today. She can do multiple YouTube videos. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye. Oh, make sure you follow the podcast. It's underscore Kendall on Twitter. Killing it with Kendall on Instagram. That's the podcast. That's the podcast account. So. Um, there you go. Meanwhile, today President Trump has tweeted about Flag Day. It's also the U.S.